What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. In today's episode, I don't know if we're going to take on uh, Colossus number... Where the heck is aggro? Colossus number three, but we're obviously going to be taking on our second Colossus. And uh, I'm super excited to get into it. He's one of my favorites, actually. Where the heck is our horse? Did her horse just, like, vanish? Oh, there he is. Hey, aggro. Alright, and, uh, let's get into it. Oh, come on. There we go. Also, something different about this game that's just about to be addressed is the, uh, auto-saving. Which is basically a fancy way of saying, um, your game is going to be saved. Anyway, I'm still trying to get used to these controls. I, I, I played the old game so much that I, I have the old controls still kind of memorized. Now, there are a bunch of Easter eggs in this game. Little tiny collectibles that you can find all across the world, which encourage you to check out this place. And I recommend that you do if you ever play this game. This, this looks stunning. Anyway, I never actually got to show you where we're going. We're, uh, we're heading in this direction. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's, uh, l l let's just talk more about this game, man. It's, 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 uh, one of those games that really inspired me a lot. I, uh, actually, this was one of my very first games I ever, like, played to completion when I was younger. Granted, I had seen a huge portion of it played, because I used to watch my brother play it all the time, and I know how to play this game thanks to, you know, pretty much that, and uh, the only reason I'm able to play this game as good as I currently am right now is also because I've played this game so many times. But this, uh, this really inspired kind of my taste for video games as a whole, and it, it led me to play a whole lot more sort of smaller games, so to speak, but I, I really enjoy games that are video games that are made as an art and, and this is definitely one of those games that's that's made to be in an, an art form and it absolutely is it's 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 definitely especially this remaster but even just the playstation 2 version of it are the, well the playstation 2 version was so ahead of its time it was it was so ahead of its time it was it was one of the the only games of its kind the the only game that was even remotely similar to this game was yeah. Ico, which frankly, that game also deserves a remaster, kind of like this one, but it's not nearly as impactful for me. The ending of that game was played off very, very well. It was a very good ending, but um, like actually the ending kind of made me a little emotional the first time I saw it, but I never actually beat the ending on my own. Now take a look at this. Interesting, huh? I'd love to know what he was doing. Anyway, we actually don't need the horse for a big portion of this fight, because as it turns out, we, uh, we're actually able just to kind of deal damage to him with uh, our arrows here. Now, this guy is actually much harder on hard mode. He, uh, he is definitely kind of a, a contender for being one of my least favorites on hard mode. Uh, his extra weak point, because he does have one extra is in a very... Oh, aggro, get out of the way. Oh, freaking heck, I missed it. So the trick with this one to get on him is you have to uh, shoot the bottom of his feet. If at, Thank you. <laughs> the, the, the difficult part is the arrows. 
physics don't make it super easy to get it done. Easy to get it done. But, there we go. Now, the trick with this guy is that it's really, really important to uh, conserve your stamina as much as you can. Since you have to crawl around him a whole bunch, it, it's pretty critical that you conserve your stamina, especially since we have so little of it. Now, he's going to do the shaky shaky, but that's okay. The, uh, the PlayStation 3 version of this game was actually really easy to speedrun, um, especially this guy. Now, his extra weak point might be on the other side, because he has an extra weak point on him on, like, the side of his stomach. I think that must be on his right side of his body, which is fine. We'll go for that one last, but, uh, well, we'll go for the app. Now, as you can see, we didn't do a lot of damage there. So this is gonna take a long time. In normal mode, in an easy mode, it's like in an easy mode, it's like one hit on these weak points, practically, and they're done. So it doesn't require very much effort at all to get through them on normal mode, which is why I wanted to play hard mode for this specific playthrough, because I kind of wanted to give myself a little bit more of a challenge so I'd have a little bit more to talk about. Now we're only, you know, six and a half minutes or so into this, and we're getting... <sighs> There's a gnat near my microphone. We're actually getting pretty close to being able to say that we beat him, because once we get this weak point done, which is a little difficult because he's shaky, but once we get this weak point done, um, the only real challenge of this particular Colossi is his side one, because he does a whole lot of shaking, and it gets very, very challenging to conserve your stamina. So unless that ends up giving me fits, I totally think that we're probably going to do the Colossus in this episode, because that one is also awesome. Or I might still cut this one short and make it a slightly shorter episode, just because the third one kind of deserves an episode of its own. Now, we're actually chunking him away slower than I would have imagined, and I can only probably get one more hit in here, and then I'm going to have to run back here and avoid taking damage or falling off, because if we fall off, then that's going to be... We have to redo the entire process, basically, of climbing up him and dealing damage to him on his foot, and it's just kind of a pain. Although, it looks like we probably are going to have enough stamina to take out his head weak spot now, so... You know, looking at the pace this is going, and especially how long it's going to take to get that other one, I think this is probably going to be its own episode, and we'll save the third Colossus for its own, uh, for its own video. Slowly but surely, um, that should have done it, actually. And I, it did, okay. So that is the head weak point taken care of. Now we have one final weak point. And it's on his side over here, if I remember correctly, which... Yep, there it is. Now, again, the trick with this one is that he shakes himself a whole lot, so it's very difficult to, to do this, like, in one go. Although, right now, he's not shaking around too much at all, so he's just kind of letting me hit him. Maybe, my, maybe I'm about to be proven super wrong here. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, I can do it. Look at that, I was proven super wrong. Well, that's okay, this will just be kind of a short episode, and I'll include uh, the the third Colossus in his own episode, just because he's kind of like the mascot for this game, and he totally deserves his own video. And uh, now we'll get the Death Spaghetti one more time. Can we get the Death Spaghetti midair? Hook. Oh, dude, we totally did, but it didn't quite work. <laughs> and just like that, we are in the, uh, the space tube going back to the uh, temple. And that's, uh, what is that? 12.5% of the game already done. That's right, this game's pretty short. It's You can beat this game in like three hours if you're really good at it. And you kind of know what you're doing. So 
So to kind of put a little bit of an, an age to this video before it gets uploaded, Mario Maker 2 comes out tomorrow and my pre-order comes in, and I'm definitely going to do some videos over Mario Maker 2. Um, they'll probably be uploaded after I finish. <clears throat> Excuse me. They'll probably be uploaded after I finish this. So I'll probably play the game independently on my own for a while, maybe make a few levels, find some more fun levels that might be fun to record, and then after I finish uploading this series, that'll become my new, like, second series while I continue with Final Fantasy X. And I have no idea what game I'm going to LP after I finish Final Fantasy X. But to put things into perspective, I might be maybe like a fifth of the way through that game. So we've got a long way to go before I feel comfortable saying anything about what my next game is going to be. Simply because that's a huge time commitment. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and call it quits here. Sorry about the shorter episode, but like I said, we'll, uh, we'll have a good episode next time with the, thir uh, the third Colossus. Just because he is so is so awesome looking anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next episode of let's play shadow of the colossus see you guys later